Looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over a few things. First off, some more animation reveals, some more promo stuff that was leaked last night by Mutt Leaks, as well as some make rights that are going down today in the Madden community. Now, guys. You guys know what make rights are. Make rights are essentially when EA messes up, they give us free stuff. Or I wouldn't say free, because sometimes to get these make rights, you have to spend money. So they do they do makeup content. Like instead of if you buy four packs and they were all messed up, you get eight packs total, right? They'll give you another four. So essentially, even if they messed up the first one, you still got some value. So make rights are typically pretty lucrative for most people. But before we get into the video and go over everything, guys, make sure you down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and as always, like and comment, guys. So important to the channel. If you guys like and comment, it helps me out. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys got the make rights or if you guys opened any packs. Let me know what you guys have been pulling. And of course, smash the like button. Can we get 35 to 50 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, let's hop into this. Let's go through it. So here's the first make rights. If we go over to the store, guys. The bundle should be out of the store now. So if you haven't done it already, like if you're reading this, it's too late kind of a thing, right? It's gone already. But let's go over to the players over here. So the bundle was the $50 bundle. I believe it was the eight times Super Bowl present bundle. So this bundle right here, as of now, is probably already fixed. Don't even worry about it. Players who purchase the eight times Super Bowl present bundle will be given another eight. Um, will be given eight so a legendary Super Bowl fantasy bundle, right? So pretty much if you open this and you got the Super Bowl present bundle, you now go ahead and get an eight times legend fantasy bundle. So you're actually getting up a little bit there. So you're getting a little bit extra. Now, why is this happening? I believe that people purchased a $50 bundle, and what happened was they only got regular packs, right? They didn't get the Super Bowl Legend Fantasy packs. What they got was they got regular packs. So this is the Super Bowl present pack, right? And this is the Legend Fantasy pack. The big difference, right? One's just pl player packs, one's a fantasy. So what happened was, was that people essentially bought this eight bundle for 50 bucks, and instead of getting the fantasy packs like were promised in here, which way you're supposed to get? Fantasy, you were supposed to get fantasy packs, right? In essence, let's just wrap it up to make it simple. You're supposed to get fantasy packs. You got regular packs. So it was a misadvertisement for the most part. I mean, again, nothing really happens with this kind of stuff. It's just they do make rights. If they really know they messed up, like they're liable, like they can get in trouble for this kind of stuff, they do make rights. Now, I do want to open up another Legend Fantasy bundle, kind of. No, uh, no, those are bad. I'm not going to do it to myself. But... At the end of the day, if you guys open the other ones up, you still get those eight packs, and then you get an additional legendary fantasy pack. So essentially, you got double your value, maybe more. So it's not bad, honestly. Sometimes, you know, it sucks that when EA messes up, but the beauty of it, if you're on the right side of the mess up, sometimes you actually get compensated pretty well. If, if you know, if they do the make rights for it, sometimes they give you the BS. Oh, the in-game messaging wasn't up. Mm. Not everyone, not everyone knows that. Not everyone know. Everyone just knows like, oh, 10, 10 30 something's out. They open it. All right, so. But if you guys are on the right side of this, you do end up getting, you luck out a little bit here and do get one of the packs, um, you know, another eight of them. So there's kind of a double pack opening for today, guys. Let me know if you guys are one of the people who are getting the make rights. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys pulled. I want to know if they, the second ones were heat, where, where, where they nerfed to make sure that no one gets anything out of them. Can you imagine if they did that? Whenever they give make rights, they just kill the odds so everyone can just shut up and just think they got bad pack luck, but they still got, you know, they were made right. That, that'd be messed up, but I don't think that's the case, but, you know, just speculating. But these packs are these packs on paper are supposed to be super super good i opened them and got trash but again supposed to be super super good i only got a 90 overall i literally got a 90 overall is my best card in the pack which sucks considering it's an 88 percent chance of getting one um 62 over 92 plus 31 over 94 plus but packs on paper are supposed to be fire but that's enough about that guys let's go over to the pack animation and go over the promo that was leaked guys okay, so this is the promo animation that was leaked so as you guys can see this is probably the cool this even beats the team the ultimate legend right it's probably the coolest pack animation i've ever seen in my life for madden so pretty much this is going to be for the nfl combine promo now the combine promo typically takes place around like april you know late late march early april early march i, I forget it's somewhere around there depending on when they start it so this is going to be the NFL Combine Pack Pro. In past, we've just gotten, you know, colors and animations. This literally is the 40-yard dash. So the pack is running the 40-yard dash as it opens. You see the NFL Combine art in the back. You see the cones. You see the 40-yard dash, uh, you know, the whole, the whole line for it. You see the stadium, guys. This is probably the coolest animation I've ever seen in Madden history when it comes to pack animation or in general. This is going to be a super cool, and I really hope they didn't follow through with this one. And for all you know, that could be just the low tier, right? Or the high, maybe that's the high tier, but there could be even there could be some different ones in there as well. But that is super cool. I've never seen a, you know, an actual 3D moving animation before. Like, there's been, like, you know, not 3D, but I've never seen one that has depth, right? Like, the old Legend Fantasy Pack, it swirls, changes the picture, swirls again. This one literally has depth as it moves, a whole stadium. 
Probably the most detailed one ever. I'm super excited for this animation, guys. Gonna be super fun for some thumbnails as well. Definitely really cool. But nonetheless, guys, super excited for when this promo does come again. It's gonna be a while. We're only in February. February, uh... Ooh, don't botch this fifth. We're on February 5th, so we still have, you know, a month to two months left until we actually see any of this come to light, but it's still definitely super cool. I'm going to go over the NFL Combine promo a little bit for you guys to get an idea of what it looks like for anyone new, but essentially the NFL Combine promo is, you know, the NFL Combine, right? The pre-draft workouts that they do, like the 40-yard dash, the broad jump, lateral jump, three-cone drill, you know, all that stuff just to showcase themselves to scouts for the NFL. So that's going to be cool. Now, the Combine's going to be different this year. It won't be an official NFL Combine, like, you know, everyone together. I think it's going to be individual pro days held at like their colleges or high schools and stuff where each player has their own little thing. So it might, it's going to be a different format this year, but we're still going to get a combine promo because essentially it's still the same. Right here, this is the NFL combine promo. If you guys don't remember, you probably do now. This was the card out last year. Jalen Ramsey was an LTD, I believe. 94 speed, 96 zone, 97 press. As of right now, you know what's sad? That would only be a, that would be a good corner, not a, not a, not a, not a meta corner. He wouldn't have 96 speed. He was just like Sean Murphy bunting right there. That's what's sad right now about how much better cards are this year. And this was back, like I said, this is like in March. So think about it. We have cards like this already, and we've had them since about Christmas. Uh, Deion Sanders, again, this one would be crazy. 98 speed Deion. That was a 99 powered up speed. John Ross, 99 speed. Vita Vey, 71 speed. Defensive tackle doesn't really matter there. Alvin Kamara. Okay, this just shows you how hoed Alvin Kamara was all year last year. Alvin Kamara for the first time this year, right? This is March we're talking about. March, April. Alvin Kamara got a 92 speed halfback. That is how hoed he was last year. Meanwhile, this year, he already has a 95 powered up speed uh, running back card. I believe he got a power up uh, plus one. So I don't know if he got the plus one there too as well. But look at that. Alvin Kamara was so horrible last year. His card this year in Christmas, which would be three to four months prior to the combine, is 100 times better. It's just weird overall. Alvin, uh, Mari Cooper had a 93 speed again. He was a decent card at the time, but still too slow. Denzel Ward, 96 speed. That was a great card. He had a 97 speed. Pair him up with Dion. They were goats. Uh, Mike Jasicki, Montez Sweat, you guys know the usuals, Dustin Hopkins, Carrion Johnson, Quinn and Williams, Donatari Poe, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Chidobia Woozy. You guys get the point though, it's going to be combine oriented, you guys know how this stuff goes, it's going to be super fun though, this promo is definitely one of the most fun promos, I remember one of my favorite cards all time was Vernon Davis, like three star NFL combine and Chris Johnson, NFL combine master, I remember back when those days when you could, used to co you could collect cards, or if they were collected already, they couldn't be used, so like, Nowadays, you know when you want to do collections, you have to just get the card, you put them into the collection, and then you create the card. So this, back in Madden 13, if cards had already been used in collections, you could you could still sell them on the block. So let's say I did the I do the uh, Tyreek Hill set. I get all those players, they don't come back as that. You get them back as auctionable players, but they have collected on them. Once they have collected on them, they cannot be used for collectibles. So essentially, they're cards you can play with, but not cards you can do collections with. So the cards that were collected would only be worth, let's say, 200k. If they weren't collected, they were cards that could be used in the set. They were like 400k. That's back when Madden was super cool. I wish they would go back to that format. It was literally like a card, you know, card format, which I guess there's reasons why they went away from that, but like legal reasons in terms of tops and, you know, actual card brands. But still, that was super cool. And Combine back in the day was one of the most fun promos. Oh, I, I hope they introduce Leon Sandcastle again this year, guys. If you don't know who Leon Sandcastle is, that's like the meme of Deion Sanders where he's like, he's wearing, he has the afro on and it's like his 99 overall can do everything, can play any position on the field, quarterback, running back, wide receiver. That Leon Sandcastle card used to be OP. Hope they bring that back as well. But anyways, guys, moving on from that, I'm super excited for this promo. There's going to be so many fun cards. We're going to get Chris Johnson's, John Ross, Odell, Vernon Davis, Dion's, Ramsey's, Kamara's. You know, we're going to get some crazy players, maybe McCaffrey. Some crazy guys are going to be a part of this promo. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, always subscribe. Turn to that noti bell. And as well, always like and comment, guys. Keep telling you guys. Helps out a lot. So like down below and let me know who's your favorite combine card of all time. Who's your favorite combine performer of all time? Who do you expect to see? Is it your favorite team? NFL in general. And if you guys need coins for anything, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for an additional discount. Don't forget to use the code. Without that, you're wasting a lot more money than you have to. But anyways, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.